sacred character of a place, stealing from you gradually, then suddenly reaching your vulnerable places as they decompose, layering brambles like Colombian gunpowder, like Chinese snow as corrupt visitors and their corrupting influences violate the central region of your heartland. Demanding directions, the excruciating promise of exchange like a party guest who hangs around too long. <laughs> Destitute of worth. Feeling worthless for days now, I can't read or follow a map. The path leads straight to the lake. Sanctioned ideas, such and such a crummy notion, leads you that way if only I knew. Anecdotal scripts, abiding maneuvers, post-refusal strategies, I gave in ravenously seeking. The road runs straight, the crooked shall be made straight. I want to be your list of options, your menu, not deviating several sorts of crooked lines, but only which is straight, passing from certainty undiluted like talking, like whiskey straight, floating straight, when they are one suit, it is called straight. <laughs> Lovers. I want to rip you off, I adore you. Oh, those silly lies we told to defend our dignity, the tremors of endlessness, the trinkets that meant nothing, the scabs you compulsively picked like grody constellations because it felt so good. How could it be wrong? I worship you. I want to steal from you as we sweep past the other in different apparitions, standing on our heads, contemplating our shoes. <laughs> He had fallen in love. Coaxing his hair down and across his uncooperative forehead, he confessed they'd met in front of the aspiration statue at St. Mark's Church. She was a makeup artist. Ha, a makeup artist, how fitting. I envisioned her prone, wildly struggling, hands behind her back while one of Kaiser Sozi's henchmen leisurely eliminated her. Once I read his fay agonizing ballads with all the fervor I could muster after we'd sing Fred Rogers songs. It's you I like, every part of you, your skin, your eyes, your feelings. I recently met someone I really liked but was so anxious I got plastered and told him he should go to AAA, the Automobile Club of America, confusing the acronym, though I detest those 12-step programs where you are meant to believe your personality is a character flaw. <laughs> the last piece. Keep going. When you revealed you would kill your mother and dog for a Guggenheim, I was captivated. That takes guts, and I appreciate your sickening gusto. The mental alienation suits you. Likewise, when you amputated your legs because I said I admired them, even though it wasn't you I wanted, it was your legs, I was enchanted. Despite anything to the contrary, your moves are quite impressive. I'm getting a real kick out of the brain control prosthesis as you dance idiotically with no concern for the safety or well-being well of anyone around you letting loose thrashing. <laughs>